Welcome to week number three, the final week of the Bernat Velvet Stitch Along with our friends over at Joanne. I'm Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. Today we're going to put our pillow together. So we have our front face done which was the diagonal popcorn stitch. Then we also had the back face which was just regular corner to corner and this week we're just gonna sew things together. So your pillow form is 18 inches and let's get those ready and let's begin to do the sewing. So here's the back here. This is regular corner to corner just like you see. I've got the tail on here on the right hand side of the video and if this is the left hand side it will be the other side. I then wanna take the other one that we have with the bobbles facing up, place it directly over the top and what we're going to do is that we're going to whip stitch. Now I would match the tail ends with each other Therefore they kinda got the same stitch work going on and what we're going to do is then begin to sew three sides together. We're going to slip in our pillow and then we're going to sew the final of the final side together. So now that we have this let's uh, begin to do the sewing practices and you're going to need a tapestry needle and your Bernat velvet yarn to play. The first thing I would do is all these tail ends I would just take them and use your tapestry needle and just feed those on and just weave those into place so that they never fall out on you. So just taking the work, just take those and just kinda glide it through. So go once, twice, and three times. And I want you to do that. You would have had to change yarn balls um, within the second video so you would have had to do it with the regular corner to corner and then what you can just do is once you get it in total three times you can just safely cut that out and I want you to do that with all your tail ends now. So now that my tail ends are woven in what I want to do is that I wanna take a large strand and I'm going to sew at least three sides together. If you have to use more than one strand to go all the way around that's completely up to you. So create a slip knot on the one side and leave it open and feed the other side of that same strand into your tapestry needle. And what I like to do is that when I go through the first time I like to put it through the slip knot and it completely locks the project in or the, the strand in position. So starting off on the one side I want you to just come through the one side here in the back and match it to the same stitch on the next one. And pull through and when you pull through look for that the slip knot and feed it through. And what that will do is it will lock it into position for you. And then you just can just weave that in. So I'm just going to position this in a way that makes sense for me when I sew. So what I like to do is that you can leave that straggler on the interior if you would like to and just going in and match the stitches across from each other and you go right up over top. So right over it's called a whip stitch. So move to your next one. It might be harder for you to see it in camera than I can in the person. Um, this yarn has a bit of shimmer to it and it's really quite awesome but it's also very forgiving as well. If you make any mistakes you can pretty much hide it because of the fluff of the yarn and because it's so shiny too. So I'm just going to continue just to whip stitch and match my stitches going across. Don't so what I want you to do is just go three sides and then we're going to slide in our pillow form and do the final side with the pillow inside. The other, I just have one side left which the pillow is gonna slide into. I just removed the tag that was on this side of this um, just so that you have that. I don't think that's illegal. <laughs> I know it's, you can't sell a product without that tag but once it's at home it's fair game. So we're just going to slide in our pillow now and sew the remaining side shut and you'll see that it will look really quite awesome. So please uh, do that now and we'll meet you back here and we'll just conclude off today's stitch along with the Bernat Velvet with Joanne. So once you get to the very end just tie yourself a little knot and then you're just going to take in your darning needle or your tapestry needle and just weave it through. So go once and twice and three times is a charm. So if you go in and out three times it will never fall out on you and then your pillow is good to go and you're gonna be able to enjoy at the same time. And then that's it. So here is my pillow and this is the back side of the pillow. Let's turn it up and get the bobble side. The bobbles do a nice job of filling in all the spacing and this is good to go. So please enjoy your new pillow. This is compliments of Joanne.com and this is Burnett Velvet Central and I'm your host Mikey of the Crochet Crab. We'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.